Hello, welcome back to Island Weeds. My name is Lissa, and today we are going to be introducing the first villager to Cold Fluff. I also want to pay off my home loan and just some little odds and sods. Off camera, I sold a bunch of seashells and weeds and fruit, so I managed to save up some money and I think I'm going to be keeping my house a little small version with the shrubs on the side. It's too cute and I think it will look really cool with kid core. I've racked up some nook miles and I know that I should expand my pockets but I kind of want to use them towards nook mile tickets for a villager hunt. I don't know. I suppose I could use my other account, Mallow Cake, to supply the Nook Mile tickets, but I've been doing so well with Cold Fluff and the new save file and not having any aid from anyone else or any treasure islands, so I don't know if I want to do that or not. I guess we'll see. I had the perfect spot in mind for this new bridge, the first bridge that I have to put together. It's kind of silly because it's like off to the side, but you'll see what I mean. I'm thinking about a new build that I want to put there. Obviously a new build. It's a new island. But I'm thinking about a very specific build there and this little wooden bridge will be super cute. Imagine if we had to go through this every time we had to build a bridge or an incline. It might make things a little more interesting. I love seeing that little bridge construction kit. You never see it again after you build the first bridge. It's just the cutest little DIY. And then it's gone. So I'll show you what I was talking about earlier. It's over here and I do have to like jump over the river to do it, which makes it kind of silly supposed to bring the land together but it's super adorable and um, going with this theme I was pondering not doing any terraforming I might do a little bit I don't want to say it's a no terraforming island just yet but this cute little spot I have an idea for so I'm just gonna put the bridge here I accidentally clicked let me imagine it. I already knew that's where I was going to put the bridge. Let the land connect over here in an awkward spot. I decided to buy some turnips um, just to earn Nook Miles, honestly, I don't really need to do this. I actually think they're ridiculously expensive as far as turnips go. I think it's like the rule to buy under a hundred bells or something. I don't know, back to 2020 rules. So 109 is high, but I just need the Nook Miles. 
just gonna buy a small bundle and move on. See, just an easy 300 nook miles. Anything helps, right? So now I'm just gonna go talk to Tom Nook and I think that after the bridge we get the little houses. I decided to redeem for one Nook Mile ticket and try my luck with whatever villager we get. Obviously I just have to take them no matter who they are, but fingers crossed we get somebody good. Yes! Finally! Finally I can react! It's so wild when you start a new island and you honestly forget how much you have built up to. And you're going back, you're getting reactions, you're stacking nook miles, and you honestly take those things for granted. I just figured that I should put some things in my storage before we go to the random island so I can take some goodies. Obviously, well maybe not so obviously, I'm recording this voiceover afterwards. Um, so I know who the villager is. It's so cool and I'm so excited to show you who our first villager is. Also, this is where I ended up putting uh, Nook's Cranny. I don't think I did that on film, but there it is, over there. I also conveniently cut out the dodo banter because nobody wants to watch that, honestly. Catch some bees, chop some trees, etc, etc. And lo and behold, we have Meringue, who is absolutely perfect, essentially made for a kid core island. Her nose, oh I guess her horn, is a strawberry for heaven's sakes. How cute is that? I just love her. Thank you. 
Yay! Cold Fluff officially has their first villager, Meringue. So I go ahead and I place the first plot, um, which I find out isn't Meringue's house, but you'll have to wait for another video to see that mess. I don't know what happened. Tom Nook just needs to micromanage us and give us phone calls every two seconds. But I laid out the plot and we've got Daisy May wandering about. And I had to double check because I could not remember the exterior and the interior list, even though I've done this before. We've all done this before. But sometimes we forget, you know? Thank you so much for watching this video, you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will build this island together slowly but surely, and tune in to the next video where you will see some sort of mess, some sort of mix-up with these villager houses. Bye!